United States Navy may be far more advanced than we realize. Dr. Salvatore Sayers Pai, who is an inventor for the US Navy, has been working on a number of projects that weren't known by the general public. However, thanks to documents that have been released online, we now know what this inventor and the Navy has been working on. The official documents have revealed that the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division is working to test these concepts. These documents have revealed that the Navy didn't brush these aside, but rather took them seriously. It's not known how far they took this, but insiders have said that the US Navy is working on things that we couldn't imagine. Dr. Salvatore Sears Pai said the following, The ideas that controlled motion of electrically charged matter via accelerated vibration and or accelerated spin subjected to smooth yet rapid acceleration transients would generate extremely high energy, high intensity electromagnetic fields. End quote. One of the patents was released online and reads as follows. High frequency gravitational wave generator. The United States of America as represented by the Secretary of the Navy. A high frequency gravitational wave generator, including a gas filled shell with an outer shell surface, microwave emitters, sound generators, and acoustic vibration resonant gas filled cavities. The outer shell surface is electrically charged and vibrated by the microwave emitters to generate a first electromagnetic field. The acoustic vibration resonant gas field cavities each have a cavity surface that can be electrically charged and vibrated by acoustic energy from the sound generators, so much so that a second electromagnetic field is generated. The two acoustic vibration resonant gas field cavities are able to counter spin relative to each other to provide stability, and propagating gravitational field fluctuations are generated when the second electromagnetic field propagates through the first electromagnetic field. The invention described herein may be manufactured and used by or for the government of the United States of America, for governmental purposes without payment of any royalties. Gravitational waves can be seen as undulations in the structure of space-time, or to be more exact, ripples in the curvature of the space-time fabric. These waves are propagating fluctuations in gravitational fields, which arise due to the dynamics of massive physical entities. The source of gravitational waves may not be massive in nature, as long as this motion is represented by high frequency, high energy far from equilibrium dynamics, this can be observed from the energy momentum tensor expression in the GR field equations. Artificially generated high energy electromagnetic fields can interact strongly with the local vacuum energy state, an aggregate collective state composed of the superposition of all fluctuations in the collective quantum fields permeating a given space-time locality. According to quantum field theory, this strong interaction between the fields is based on the mechanism of transfer of vibrational energy between the fields, further inducing local fluctuations in adjustment quantum fields, which permeate that space-time locality. These fields may or may not be electromagnetic in nature. Another document reads as follows. Craft using an inertial mass reduction device. The United States of America as represented by the Secretary of the Navy. A craft using an inertial mass reduction device comprises of an inner resonant cavity wall, an outer resonant cavity, and microwave emitters. The electrically charged outer resonant cavity wall and the electrically insulated inner resonant cavity wall forms a resonant cavity. The microwave emitters create high frequency electromagnetic waves throughout the resonant cavity, causing the resonant cavity to vibrate in an accelerated mode, and create a local polarized vacuum outside the outer resonant cavity wall. There are four known fundamental forces which control matter, and therefore control energy. The four forces are strong nuclear forces, weak nuclear forces, electromagnetic force, and gravitational force. 
In this hierarchy of forces, the electromagnetic force is perfectly positioned to be able to manipulate the other three. A stationary electric charge gives rise to an electric electrostatic field, while a moving charge generates both an electric and a magnetic field, hence the electromagnetic field. Additionally, an accelerating charge induces electromagnetic radiation in the form of transverse waves, namely light. Mathematically as well as physically, electromagnetic field intensity can be represented as the product of electric field strength and magnetic field strength. Electromagnetic fields act as carriers for both energy and momentum, thus interacting with physical entities at the most fundamental level. Artificially generated high energy electromagnetic fields, such as those generated with a high energy electromagnetic field generator, interact strongly with the vacuum energy state. The vacuum energy state can be described as an aggregate, collective state comprised of superposition of all quantum field fluctuations, permeating the entire fabric of space time. High energy interaction with the vacuum energy state can give rise to emergent physical phenomena, such as force and matter unification. According to quantum field theory, the strong interaction between the fields is based on the mechanism of transfer of vibrational energy between the fields. The transfer of vibrational energy further induces local fluctuations and adjustment quantum fields, which permeate space-time. These fields may or may not be electromagnetic in nature. Matter, energy and space-time are all emergent constructs, which arise out of the fundamental framework that is the vacuum energy state. Everything that surrounds us, ourselves included, can be described as macroscopic collections of fluctuations, vibrations and oscillations in quantum mechanical fields. Matter is confined energy bound within fields, frozen in a quantum time. Therefore, under certain conditions, such as the coupling of hyperfrequency axial spin with hyperfrequency vibrations of electrically charged systems, the rules and special effects of quantum field behavior also apply to macroscopic physical entities. Macroscopic quantum phenomena. End quote. Many of the comments that followed on from this said that we really have no idea what our military is capable of and said that they likely have things that would blow many people's minds, while others said this is a perfect example of truth is stranger than fiction. So what do you guys make of these documents, and what sort of things do you think the Navy is working on? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.